Hello, Ben here, M7FRS, and welcome back to the follow up video featuring the UV5R Plus, which I fitted the HF modification board to yesterday. Uh, today's the moment of truth to see if it works or not. I've uh, flashed the CEC HF um, firmware to it and a CEC uh, version 0.41 HF uh, is the firmware that we flashed to it so we should just be able to press and hold the zero button and sure enough let's turn the volume down uh, it's gone to the uh, the screen that we wanted to see and it's on 21 megahertz um, or 15 meter band uh, currently in AM so uh, that's working uh, if we want to change to uh, single sideband or upper sideband we need to press and hold the F uh, key just for a second or two then we release and it takes a second or two to actually change but it has now changed to uh, lower sideband as you can see there if we change it to upper sideband we've just got to press it once and it'll then go into upper sideband mode so so far so good that seems to be working um, so you see you've got a obviously a AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband indicator there, your frequency, uh, your little S meter there showing S9 of noise at the moment. I've just got this plugged into my uh, uh, NFED long wire out in the garden. Um, you can see you've got various things of course here, you've got band, um, I think the next one is uh, frequency step, uh, you've got your low, low noise um, amplifier bandwidth and uh, BFO so um, yeah you can change between bands so if I'm on so I'm using the, the menu key to scroll across between the different uh, options there uh, and then to go up and down on these uh, I think you use the, uh, the buttons on the side so we can scroll up and down through the different bands so if I'm pressing the uh, up and down on these two one, uh, buttons here so that's uh, scrolls through the different bands as you can see there uh, up to 29 megs or 10 meters and then we can go right down to uh, well there you go there's, uh, there's 20 meters or 14 megs uh, and we can go all the way down to uh, well below 160 meters let's say 1.9 um, so yeah that's how you move up and down the band. Um, let's put it on 20 meters, shall we? So there we go, there's, there's 20 meters. And we're on lower sideband, let's see if there's anyone about. Um, we can use the up and down arrows here to uh, scroll up and down the frequency. And we just need to move the cursor across. So I think the scan button, yeah, the scan button moves the uh, the cursor across there so some of the fall up there we go so we can now go up and down on here no we can't yes we can So there you go, that's uh, IK5YZZ, uh, Giovanni is probably streaming live on his channel. There you go, so I'll put a link to uh, to his channel down below, you'll bet he's always uh, streaming live when he's on uh, on HF. But uh, nice little uh, proof that uh, 20 metres is, uh, is alive and working there. Um, like I say, we can scroll across uh, using the menu button. Um, let's say you change your band, we can change the frequency step. I, did, I know I used the scan button to change up and down, but you can actually... Uh, um, use the again up and down on the side buttons will uh, will change the step at one a moment we're on one kilohertz 10 kilohertz step 100 kilohertz or uh, uh, one megahertz jumps basically um, which is indicated just on the uh, 
just on the bottom of the screen there hopefully you can you can sort of see that um, there you go back to one kilohertz again uh, yeah so that's um, that's your steps we'll press it again like I say it takes it to the uh, uh, LNA or low noise amplifier and then you can see you've got uh, zero attenuation on there and again just using the up and down keys um, doesn't matter I think on these if you press the down one it'll still keep going through the increments um, so do the same thing you just have to scroll all the way through so you can have the AGC on uh, or attenuation uh, and you can attenuate from 1, 5, 15, 26 uh, up to the AGC being on again there you go So it's not particularly loud, that's almost that, that is now full volume on the uh, on the rotary control, so it's not as, as loud as it would be on uh, on UHF or VHF, but it definitely works. Um, and like I say we can scroll across and you can change the bandwidth. I've got the uh, bandwidth on four kilohertz at the moment. Again, using the up and down on the side, three kilohertz. 2.2, 1 .2, uh, and there you go. So that's up and down on your uh, on your bandwidth. I've got that set on on four kilohertz, uh, and then you can scroll across, and you've got your BFO, so you can uh, um, the, you've got your BFO plus and minus there, so you can go up five, ten, fifteen. Just hear that one there or you can go into negative as well so um, yeah that's all the uh, the settings on there uh, what else can we do you can press and hold the uh, zero button to change through the bands um, so it gives you one to seven that which is 17 meters up to 10 meters press it again I think I'd already pressed it twice there you go uh, one to seven is um, low frequency 630 meters uh, I don't know what AMMF stands for but uh, you've got that on there 160, 120, 80 and 60 so if you want to go to any of those bands so if I want to go to 80 meters say uh, it's handband number 6 I'll press 6 on that menu it'll take me straight to uh, to the 80 meter band again press the 0 button um, and then press it once more gives us the next slot so if we want to go back to uh, 20 meters we'll press number five and uh, takes us back to uh, to where we were uh, if we want to go back to standard VHF UHF mode um, you just press the exit button there and you can see we're just back in the normal let's say UHF and uh, VHF mode there um, we go into the menu so as normal press the menu button um, you've got this HF dual mode as well so uh, at the moment it's switched off if I turn HF dual mode on and then press menu and then we exit that and we then go back to um, press and hold the zero uh, then we go to it's not giving us a band for some strange reason why is that let's uh, press zero again Let's select uh, 20 meters. That was number five. I don't know why it's done that. It's doing something a bit strange this time. But um, this did work the first time I tried it, and then typically when I try and do a video, it's uh, it's playing up. But um, let's uh, switch it off and on again. Let's see uh, if we can uh, figure out why it's uh, glitched or it's done something strange there. Right, press and hold the zero. press and hold F which will take us into lower sideband press it again upper sideband and um, we want to change the band so let's press band uh, we can scroll down the bands as well if we want no we can't uh, it's the other button isn't it uh, it is this one that will scroll down the bands there we go and then let's exit that ah there we go so now um, it, the dual mode is on so obviously doesn't like it if you don't switch it off and on again first after we've put it into dual mode but um, as you can hear it's still receiving on okay, no problem. Uh, no problem, no problem. 
still receiving on 20 meters, but it actually works in full dual VFO mode, I've realized. So I'll put the other uh, other Quan Sheng on. And um, see, so we've both got two of these on on, uh, on the same frequency. So I'll go in the other room and I'll uh, give a call and you should be able to hear me over the top of John. So it should be able to listen uh, to both frequencies at the same time. So we'll give that a go. Mike 7, Foxtrot Romeo, Sierra M7 FRS, test only. There you go, so it does work in full uh, dual frequency mode. So it can listen on HF and it can listen on either U uh, VHF and uh, UHF at the same time, uh, which it never really did properly with the two VFOs. I don't think you could get full um, dual mode operation, but uh, with this mod, it seems to support that as well. Especially well, with the, with the HF side anyway. Um, so we can we can turn that off if I press the menu uh, and then scroll down to uh, menu two, and then we'll go to off and then. Uh, exit and then we probably have to switch it off and on again to clear it I think that seems to be the way so um, once you've turned that feature on and off um, switch it back on again there we go so it's just gone back to normal um, normal VHF and UHF mode uh, so like I say every single time you do have to press the uh, the zero button and it will always come on in AM as well so um, like I say every time you've switched it off it will come on in AM, and we just need to press and hold the uh, the F key. It takes a few seconds to do it, like I said. Puts you in lower sideband. Press it again. Gives you the uh, the upper sideband. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with uh, with what it does. I say the audio is not fantastic on HF. Um, it's not overly loud, uh, but I say you've got a few little settings that you can. Uh, fiddle around with there and um, yeah I'm, I'm pleased that it worked I appreciate uh, for those of you that saw my uh, my video the actual install it was a little bit painful to watch perhaps because uh, my soldering skills are uh, <laughs> not as good as they could be and um, bad tradesman always blames the tools doesn't he so uh, I'm going to blame that on the fact that I had the soldering iron as hot as it would possibly go um, but it wasn't really quite hot enough and um, appreciate some people have said that uh, the uh, Hot air solder nine is perhaps not the best tool for the job either, which um, I thought it would be because obviously being uh, designed for uh, surface mount devices, that would be the uh, the way to do it. But uh, apparently, the uh, uh, a very fine tipped, very hot solder nine is um, probably the best uh, best way to do that. So that might be an investment for the future. Is uh, get myself a slightly better uh, solder nine, but <laughs> I certainly don't want to be doing one of those again. Uh, so I spent a lot of time uh, doing that yesterday. Um, something else I've noticed on this was the um, you, you'll notice the display's gone out. Whenever I do my videos, I like to have the uh, display on all the time. Now, if I exit that mode. Uh, and then we'll go back to the display again. The menu's pretty much the same as you'd expect on uh, on these. You can they're fairly easy to navigate. If you've got this far that you're playing with um, hardware modifications, you've probably hopefully sorted out uh, or you've sussed out the uh, the menus. Uh, but yeah, I'd set set the menu to stay on for four minutes, um, or I can quite often I'll just leave them. So if I'm doing a video, just on all the time, which it seems to do uh, if I leave it in uh, VHF. UHF mode, but as soon as I put it into the um, uh, the HF mode, and then we uh, and then we don't touch anything. I just switched it off and on again. But uh, yeah, if I put it in in HF mode uh, and don't touch anything, um, th these that will go out, which is a little bit of a niggle. But other than that, everything seems to work uh, uh, as it should. Uh, I have to admit that uh, this didn't work straight away the first time I tried it after uh, doing the mod I switched it on it worked as it should in in the normal mode uh, but pressing and holding the zero button didn't quote uh, or didn't do anything so uh, quickly whipped it apart again and uh, so if you saw the previous video which I'll link in the description down below um, there was just a very small wire, there you go, it's gone off. Uh, there's just a very small link wire between the resistor and the original um, PCB, which had uh, not quite made a, a full connection, so just a, just a slight touch with a soldering iron seemed to cure that. So we uh, put it back together again, 
and um, yeah, it uh, seems to be working. So that's I'm pleased I've uh, got it working, even if it was a <laughs> painful experience getting to that point. But if you're uh, if you think they're doing one, uh, good luck, <laughs> and uh, I say yeah, uh, try and uh, avoid some of my mistakes if you like. And uh, let us know in the comments how you got on. I'll put a few links in the description down below to uh, firmware and that kind of thing. But uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And uh, I wish you best 7-3 and we'll uh, catch you in the next one.